हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल नेताजी टैली एजुकेशन सेंटर फ्रेंड्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल विदाउट फेल फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस हाउ टू इंपोर्ट लेजर मास्टर फ्रॉम एक्सेल डेटा टू टैली प्राइम सो रिगार्डिंग दिस टुडे वी विल डिस्कस ओके फ्रेंड्स आई हेव ऑलरेडी प्रिपेर्ड वन एक्सेल शीट एंड आई टाइप्ड ऑल टाइप ऑफ लेजर मास्टर so today i will show one by one how to import that ledger master from excel to tally prime okay so regarding this i will explain you now okay see so this is my excel templates so i prepared myself see these are the headings name group name maintain balances bill by bill but here i typed only abbreviation because it is a lengthy <coughs> default credit period address state country pin code gst registration type pan it number gst in so these are the headings so these are available in tally okay so when you going to create party ledger you need to fill all these headings okay but in excel you prepare all these headings and enter ledger name group name maintain balances bill by bill details default credit period and remaining all the headings required okay <coughs> so i will show how to get these headings to prepare excel templates because you are a new <coughs> new one you don't know how to prepare the excel sheet a excel mapping sheet okay see here go to tally prime i have already create one company rakesh trading company so select create select ledger i will show wherever the headings are available name see here i type here name so group name group name means under so here under means group name and maintain balances bill by bill Select sundry data. Just assume he is a customer. See here, maintain balances bill by bill. Default credit period. I ignored this uh, title. Check for credit days during voucher entry. See name by default it will come. So address. <coughs> I typed address here, and then so state. So here state country. so country will come default next pin code here pin code gst registration type it will come here so what is next heading provide bank details i ignore that so pan it number so here pan it number so and then registration type regular see here gst registration type regular and then gst in see here gst in so all the headings i provided in excel sheet and uh, i filled all the information so this excel sheet we need to import to tally prime so how to import i will show okay so i don't uh, save this see here i don't have create any ledger see here ledger so nothing only cash and profit and loss account in tally prime someone is ask in interview which are the default ledger account in tally prime so then you tell cash and profit and loss account so here i didn't create any ledger okay so now we are going to mapping press alt o or click on import see here in top of the <coughs> software it is showing import click on import so select mapping press enter so here two option is there mapping templates that means you are already created mapping templates and entered all the information sample excel file this is empty file so tally software they will update default uh, sample excel files if you want download it otherwise you skip it so you better to prepare your own templates okay so i will select mapping templates <coughs> see here 
master create alter transaction create alter so now we are going to learning how to mapping master so in master select create press enter see here select from drive <coughs> suppose wherever you saved your excel file c drive d drive e drive desktop whatever you select the drive select from drive and select i saved my excel file in desktop i will select desktop and that file name is new mapping data okay so in my tally uh, sorry excel files see here these are the sheets and i given title also so all the titles appeared here so whichever you want for mapping you select it so today we are going to mapping party ledger so select party ledger enter for the mapping file name so this is very very important so give one file name for mapping so i will type party ledger party ledger import party ledger import see here list of master there are three types of master accounting master inventory master payroll master now we are going to mapping accounting master in accounting master group ledger cost category cost center so today we are going to mapping ledger so you have to select ledger okay so in left hand side tally mapping headings are appear okay first select name so these are excel headings which are you selected from the drive see here name group name maintain balances bill by bill default credit payer address state country etc so all the headings appear here you select one by one so in name this is default this one what you are created select name name means that is ledger name so group name select group name select maintain balances bill by bill suppose that option will not appear you do one thing you select show more and select expand all press enter so now every heading will appear you can type the three four character and then you select so maintain balances bill by bill mbb that is short abbreviation next default credit period select default credit period so now select address you select mailing detail address see heading mailing details you have to select that address so here select address next state mailing state see state select state now country so country select country now pin code pin code so next gst registration type so gst registration type select gst registration type so next select pan it <coughs> select pan it number so next <coughs> gst registration number so this is the heading gst registration gstin uin so select <coughs> gstin uin okay so finish save it okay so now we created mapping party ledger master so now we move to how to import okay so click on import or type alt w here you select master not mapping select master because we are going to importing 
so file to import that is uh, new mapping data excel that is my original excel file see worksheet name party ledger mapping template so i gave this mapping template name party ledger import this is very important see here <coughs> behavior of import if master already exit select ignore duplicate preview import summary set to yes it will show how many number of ledgers importing that report it will show okay backup company data before Im import if you want set it yes and uh, choose the file path so here i don't uh, enable this i set to no see here sundry data 10 customer ledger sundry creditor 3 supplier ledger so before importing once you check the excel sheet see here <coughs> 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 see 13 ledgers are going to be importing so among that 10 customer 3 supplier so click on this or press i so import completed successfully press any key to continue so now check the ledger whether it is imported and uh, any missing information for that you check the ledger go to alter press enter select ledger <coughs> so instead of that go to chart of accounts select ledger see sundry data so all the 10 customer 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 go to sundry creditor see here bosch power tools one two three three suppliers and you do one thing check the ledger details whether it has imported properly or not if any missing information for that you check the ledger press enter to open the ledger see name under maintain balances bill by bill credit period mailing name address state country pin code pan registration type regular gstin so each and every information imported okay so in this way you have to mapping master ledger in tally print from excel okay okay friends thank you for watching my video please subscribe to my channel without fail so in my next video, we will discuss how to mapping tax ledger, purchase sales ledger, stock group, category, stock item, units. So regarding this, we will discuss in next video. So thank you.